Pull up, pull up, and welcome to your health light. Today's argument or conversation is regarding should black people, descendants of slaves, get reparations for things that happened a long time ago. We're speaking about if you could authentically prove that you are descendants of slaves, should you get any reparations, money, anything of value, asset, etc., etc. For payment that, that was not received, for work, labor, surrounding ancestors, black people who were enslaved in their respective countries. Now, not everybody who is black can attest that their ancestors were slaves. That is a fact. And not every white person can say that their family members participated in slavery. That is another fact. So the argument is, should black people, descendants of slave, slavery, be entitled to any reparations? I do remember a long time ago where I was reading an article pertaining to a group of people sitting in a university in the UK where they were observing that, and they had a, had, just, they just simply had a conversation. The conversation was revolved revolve around, they wondered whatever happened to the slave owners at, when slavery ended, like they, they were curious. Due to that piquing the interest and curiosity, they took that question to another level they decided to go and check the archives that would be in the united kingdom when they got there they pulled out a lot of information ledgers different ledgers that is documented and stored away in the united kingdom in the archives so what did they discover they discovered that the respective governments paid the slave owners. They gave them money. Their respective government did do that. Another thing that they noticed is that the legacy, the enormous amount of financial wealth and legacy that was obtained through slavery. In other words, people during that time, they acquired and accumulated an enormous amount of wealth, whether it's infrastructure in their respective country or whether it's their family health. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, in my family, I don't really have that much, that may be the answer why. That's a part of it. Now, I know for the, in the United States, people in the United States, they are, they have taken this point and they have taken reparation as a very serious matter because of their ancestors abuse because of not getting paid i mean come on we're living in 2021 we all know what that was all about so should the descendants of slavery be entitled to any kind of financial or economical gain in this video, while you're thinking about that, we've put together some medical information. In the medical information, there is a variety of authors. And one that I'm going to mention right now is a psychologist. Her name is Dr. Joy DeGuglieri. She wrote a book called Post Traumatic Slavery. And I am not necessarily in the psychology field, but I do deal with health, human health. What she found out was people who are descendants of slave, slavery, they do have some psychological effects. That is why it's called post-traumatic slavery syndrome. On the flip side, she also mentions another term, which is cognitive dissidence. That would be the behavior and the psychological effects of people who are descendants of slave owners. May I remind you, 
not every person walking on planet Earth is a descendant of slavery, nor everybody on planet Earth is a descendant that is white, is a descendant of being slave owners. The next book that we provided in the description box is Medical Apartheid. That author is Dr. Harriet Washington. She accumulated a vast amount of information pertaining to history, medical history of black people on a variety of levels, not only in the past, but moving currently, moving fast forward. The other book that may pique your interest is They Were Her Property. In that book, it describes and explains a variety of things that happened to black women during that period. And I'm looking more of the body effect, the psycholo the health effects. That book describes, this happened in South Carolina in the United States. Now, that's what she found out. So therefore, if that could have happened in South Carolina, it may have happened in other places, but nobody ever thought of writing a book. <clears throat> the next book, you're going to be surprised. This one is called, Why Are White People Called Caucasian? The author of that book is a very uh, well-known and respected professor. In fact, she went to Princeton University. She's just very well been known. I mean, need I say any more? She wrote a book about the history of Caucasian and why they're called white. And what does that have to do in the medical way? It does, because we're speaking about ed evolution. We're speaking about human behavior. We're speaking about dynamics of people and how they're affected after all. Everybody has their respective culture. That culture sometimes could be assimilated in another way because the culture is not prevailing. So those are aspects of human health that one could take a look at regarding where you're at right now in today's day. Finally, should black people, descendants of slavery, be entitled to any benefits from the pain, suffering, and non-payment of their ancestors? Touch the subscribe and the bell. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time, for our future videos. Have a great day, everybody.